ballistic ballistic coprocessor. Raises the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons. Directly links the user's optical implants to the weapons track to the weapon system, offering real-time data tracking. That sounds pretty cool. And Kiroshi Optics Mark One enhances your vision. That where you acquire in the world can be installed or sold at any Ripper dock. Okay, so I get both. Cool. And then there's a few that are for sale. Hmm. I'm not smart enough to get brain implants. Ooh. Shiny. Oh. Close time by 50%. Nice. Not for nearly enough time. Ooh, nice. Ooh, double jump. I'm not sure how reinforcing your tendons makes that possible, but awesome. What have we here? Ah, there's the mono wire. Physical damage, high amount of concentrate damage, and can instantly dismember an enemy with one quick attack. That sounds awesome! I want it! But I'm not cool enough to have it. And then there's gorilla arms, which. I guess they just make you, I guess they give you Popeye arms. Mark yeah. 1, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. So, pack spare clothes. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Uh, I'm not ready. That major league arm of yours right here. Don't stall. What's new in the life of Victor Vector? Yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Her name is Victor Victor. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Is that a fucking stapler? You want anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Ah! Yeah, anything around, in or around my eye, pretty much my, my my biggest, like, living mortal terror. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision. Low contrast, glitches. I'm getting glitches all through the game. Well, how 
How's it look? Feel all right to you? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Scanning people! Scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who's in their crew, what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can use a list of quick hacks, which you can use against your enemy. See you a list of quick hacks. Time for the scanner. Affiliation, civilian. First time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Cool. Why are you 60% resistant to fire? Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er-did well. Database of wanted persons. A database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner. Since all are wanted dead or alive, the, mes the methods you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Oh, thank God. I'm not seeing a sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. And you're good. Yeah, this is not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. I owe him like 40 grand. What you made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, Any yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. But you are not the masters of your memories. For your eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I, I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's somehow. probably not news to you, but yeah, this issue matters to me for a few reasons. Mm -hmm. There are people mm -hmm. who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. Well, they can. But I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I don't know what you mean, untested. It, it was proven effective 50 years ago. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. You know, if you're a pussy. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. things from the tabletop game, something that may potentially interest you, believe it or not, Cop was a playable class. Not exactly a class, but lack of a better term. 
Brilliant. Yeah, I had to blow that right in my face. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. Crack a window. Oh, he's with the Saints. Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Man, you are way better at ventriloquism than Jackie. Also, your voice is just amazing. either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing night city don't let you choose oh but it does see in my line of work i choose to be mr chill but folk who try to take advantage well they see the beast inside all right listen close scanning a serious job now playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home Hang on. I got a question my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you, but we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Oh, lovely! That's no problem. Yeah, I already pissed him off once. Deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a Hello? plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. <laughs> Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang mate, one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Awesome. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent. Internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why'd she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Vetting her wasn't easy. 
Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. And it looks like we just leveled up already. So I guess I'll get to show you how this works. Basically, you, uh, anytime you level up, I think it's anytime, you get one attribute point and one perk point. So I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna I'm gonna get all of Epimorphosis because I like having regenerating health. I'm the kind of guy who uh Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally at nine, yeah. Anyway, I'm the kind of guy who uh at any RPG I play, I hoard every possible um every possible Give me a minute. Every possible consumable, forever. Even past the end boss. Wow! That is some slow popping. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. He wants to put us in a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had to switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Chingon. Yeah, you don't sound thrilled. Well, uh... While we talk, I'm gonna get the uh, thing set up. Definitely not doing that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do this. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack, something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce. Oh, whoops. Then there's the other. Wait, what? Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Huh. Not how I expected that would go. Right around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? What happened to my, uh... I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Where? Pound, actually. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Of course, you'd go for the food first. Oh, is that what? Is that what that means? Huh? I'm just gonna. Pull the camera out whenever it decides to let me. Apparently never. Oh man, the driving is giving me Grand Theft Auto 4 flashbacks. <laughs> 